Okay. Uh, hello there. My name is Robin Bounty, and I built this mobile seed cleaner and press. I am a trucker by trade and have hauled the products around the world. With this mobile trailer, you can raise the crops of your choice and process them right there on your right there on your farm. For example, canola. You raise it, put it in your bin will come to you and process your crop on your ranch or farm where you get the meal, the oil. This is where it gets interesting. The meal can be fed to, your, to the people, the cattle, or put into your ground for protein. Protein turns to nitrogen. So you, raise your fertil so, so you raised your fertilizer for next year's crop. So after three to five years, you could possibly have organic crops, double in price. Now here's your oil, <clears throat> here's your oil. Your oil can be sold for cooking oil, it can be processed to biofuel to help the ozone layers. If you process the fuel to biofuel, you can get a RIN. A RIN is traded on the stock exchange every day. The biofuel products, glycerin from the oil, the glycerin is used in soaps and medicines. And, I, and our armed forces are using the biofuels now. The one thing I have learned over the years is if you put money in the producer's pocket, the trickle-down effect begins. They buy new cars and trucks and tractors and cattle, and more products are sold. More people go back to work. Farms and ranches show a profit again. It seems like a win-win situation for everybody. So you can raise your canola to hemp, to flax, to sunflower. Any oil seed out there that is raised in your country in that part. You can raise it. This can process it. No hauling, no freight. Eliminates a lot of the headaches that people have. Do it right there at home. Okay, we are equipped with a 80,000 watt generator. It's ran actually by a John Deere motor inside there with it also. Here's the other side of the generator in that part. It's equipped to run all this system. It's a three-phase generator. It kind of stays with the system. I think you could probably go smaller in system in that part. This is about where the oil comes off of the system or your presses in that part and I have it running down through there and you can see into the little one I'll move over here to the bigger one you'll see dams on that part that I've put into it that will hopefully slow the oil down and make it so that it cleans it up itself here we're back here to the control panel now the generator's running, everything's hooked up there. You got a switch for your cleaner, your presses and that part. The cleaner light switch is on it. The light the light switch covers will be on it, she says, also in this. There's an electrical panel there beside it. Everything is fused in that part, so the the cleaner is the first thing that you would start up and that there is right here in front of me here Whoa. it draws the most juice to the system and the one up in the air we have us a six inch leg to this here system it seems to work it really pretty good with a 1500 bushel leg or a six inch leg feeding a 1500 bushel clipper cleaner. The cleaner is about a 3,000 bushel, excuse me, 3,000 bushel cleaner in this here process. 
it seems to work pretty good because we have two ton presses also that work this here system and the oil presses seem to match up about right with the cleaner for what we've ran it we're over here on the back side of the cleaner now where the clean grain would come off down at the bottom down there you can see the auger that it would come off of down there it goes up the side there the pipe auger goes up and into the presses up there so now we have clean seed up in them hoppers in that part they'll run down to the bottom and out of that chute it'll be like a big sign drill press or whatever a screw a great big screw the bigger ends on the hopper end here the smaller end is on the end of the end comes out it just kind of grinds down through there get meal that will come off fall into the tank there the oil then runs off into the trays and that's where it falls down into the other tray and that's where we were talking about the bridge the bridges out there and that are not really bridges I guess I call them dams are out there to help slow the oil down if it slows the oil down the meal goes out of the oil and it helps self clean it up and that part into this operation the neatest part about the operation is it shows up at your place you get it all you get all the product for it you took the chance in raising that product and that part into this process why we're over here I guess I forgot about the unloading auger so the tank actually gets the meal comes off of it and there's a good ton that will fit into that tank also now there's a chute up there that goes through the floor and it'll fall through the trough which is down underneath the tray there there which is the red hopper tank there you see then it comes off and it goes up into the auger and you can put it into ton tote bags or 500 pound tote bags or it can go to a conveyor belt and you can put it in their bulk into your shed you can do just about anything you want with it the oil then can be made into biodiesel products in that part now we have tanks that we put the oil in in that part they're all biodegradable tanks they were potable water tanks at one time we did potable water so we all know how to take care of the oil in that part to keep it clean to keep it all sanitized in that part we have an auger or we have a tank here also if you are coming off your bands in that part and you can't slow your system down enough to feed my system we have this little tank that we can put canola in put the seed in in that part and work off of it that way we're not slowing and running yours to wear it out we can slow this one down manually it makes the whole system work better if that way if not then if you can slow your end down we can just go right direct in too we can go right direct and eliminate the leg and go right into the cleaner also up there you just don't see all that stuff up on top there I haven't crawled up there and showed it maybe when I tear it down now that leg will lay down into the system also that's the neat part about this trailer everything folds up inside down the highway we go and we don't know you don't know really what's going on in that part you show up you set up you got everything the comfort of your elevators at home it's just that you do everything on your ranch we're eliminating the freight I, uh, trust me people I've hauled it for 45 years freight's getting higher and higher but with the price of fuel price of tires price of everything everything has to go up so somewhere along the line you have to change Can't be out in the sun just with this trailer I believe you can cut out all the middlemen but it also creates jobs because I feel if you put more money in a farmer's pocket he's gonna give it to mom mom will have to go buy kids school clothes the taxes will be paid she might get a new car she might get all kinds of things and then if you do that there storekeepers in that part will need more people
There's your meal there. Now we're at the process of, we got done crushing this canola in that part. Now we're going to show you the end product of what we've done here. Now we've got the seed here that we started with. Here's your meal. This is what the oil looks like when it comes off of the presses in that part. This here is the bottom half of your oil, which is more fattier acids in that part. And we'll do a zoom up on all this here so that we can see it. This bottle over here, that bottle is the one that we have filtered 200 times with a 200 mesh filter. This one we have. <coughs> this one here is hot off the press. This bottom half is meal yet. Your fattier acids are about into that section there. And then it's really good oil like this here on top here yet. So that there is your processes of your trailer in this process here. Now, if you take and shake, we're going to shake this bottle up, and hopefully he can zoom in on it and see the fatty acids into this bottle here that are floating around. Hopefully we're going to see that on this video in that part that is into this process. That is what it, they say is good for the milk cows, and that part dries up the fatty acids in the milk. This here is more so good for probably cooking oil in that part over there. It would be good for making biodiesel into it also. So there's two products that you've gotten off of this. The meal over here would be your cattle feed or human consumption feed if you want. Um, about it is really as far as anything else, you just get more and more products of it. You make the oil and you make the diesel, you get the glycerin. Glycerin is another product, which is made from medicines and that part. So you can keep going however you want to keep going on this. Hemp, you can go with the hemp oil, hemp seed. What they use the meal for, I'm not really sure yet. So that's about our demonstration for this here video in this trailer. I think it's a win-win situation. So... Come rent us. Come buy us. Come do whatever you want with us. We're here. Give us a call. 208-937-2050 or email us at paradise423 at centurylink.net. It's all right here on the trailer. Do it. Take it. Talk to you later.